So in this video we're going to show you how to create a blood particle effect with the Unity standard version. As you can see, this is the 360 view of the blood particle. So in our Unity scene we're going to import a folder. I'm going to provide all the files down in the description. Uh, let's open the folder. You can see a shader file and two PNGs. And then now we're going to create a material. Uh, let's name it. And then here we're going to change the shader to blood effect. Now we're going to keep the default uh, values. We're not going to change them. Uh, and the uh, mask texture gonna drag and drop the mask texture PNG and then we can drag and drop the noise texture uh, we're gonna check on the flip view randomly and flip V randomly and then that's it now we're going to create a particle system we're gonna name it uh, blood effect and then we're gonna drag and drop the material that we created earlier to the particle effect let's adjust the position I'm gonna bring it closer now here we're gonna change the duration to one and the, the lifetime between two constant 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 the speed is gonna be 0 Okay, and then uh, the size is going to be between two constant, 0 0.8 and 5. And the rotation is going to be also between two constant, uh, 360. We're going to make the color uh, red. Uh, and the modifier 1, graffiti modifier. Okay, now in the emission we're gonna check on it and we're gonna make the rate over time zero and add a burst. We're gonna change the count to one and then that's it. For the shape, uh, make it a cone and then the angle make it zero, the radius zero. Okay, and the velocity over time, check on it and make it 0 0.5 in the y values. Uh, the color over lifetime, click on it and then click the color uh, here in the this location uh, we're gonna make the alpha value to 30 and in the last location we're gonna make it to 0 and click on size over lifetime make sure the curve is from small to big uh, that's it Um, let's create an empty parent for this plot effect and then duplicate the particle uh, and then here we're gonna change only the gravity modifier to negative one um, and then that's it uh, thank you guys for watching